Today we are going to discuss about top 7 best webcams available in the market. Through extensive research, we have tested dozens of products and bring the top 7 best webcams for you. For price of these webcams, check the links in description below. For more videos, subscribe this channel and press bell icon to support our efforts. Let's get start. Number 7. Razer Kio Pround The Razer Kio Pro is Razer's 2021 update to the Razer Kio, and it adds plenty of new features that will be very helpful for content creators and amateur filmmakers alike. These include ATR recording, the ability to capture footage at 1080 pet 60 ups a light sensor that adjusts how much light the webcam captures to make images as flattering as possible regardless of lighting, and a microphone with headset-level audio quality. All of these features come at the loss of the original Kyo's ring light and a new $199 price tag. While the light sensor impresses enough to make the loss of the ring light sting less, that new cost limits the camera to creators who need its extra features instead of a more everyday audience. The Kyo Pro's image quality is still excellent, and its 60th recording is great for game streamers while its ATR capture makes it more appealing to just about everyone. Most people can probably make do without these bells and whistles, but if you want something premium and aren't sold on 4K, the the Kio Pro is a solid bet. Number 6. Logitech C920's Pro Bay Audience The Logitech C920's Pro is the latest iteration of the classic Logitech C920, which originally launched in 2013. The only difference between the original C920 and the C920's Pro is that the latter comes with an optional flip-up privacy cover. Despite being almost 10 years old, the Logitech C920's Pro is a solid, consistent webcam that captures video at 1080p slash 30 eps and has a 78 degree field of view. The C920's Pro has a maximum resolution of 1080p, which might seem low if you've been looking at 4K webcams, but 1080p is plenty high for the average user. No video conferencing platforms allow streaming at anywhere near 4K in the first place, and many cap streaming resolution at 720p. The C920's Pro also offers decent color reproduction. Its images look a little little washed out when compared with recent rivals, however, and performs acceptably in both backlit and low-light settings. The C920's Pro is a very good webcam and is still a competitive option even if it's been around forever, but this may not be the case for much longer thanks to the pandemic ushering in a new era of at-home workers and companies scrambling to get into the webcam market. Number 5. Dell UltraSharp Webcam there are a few issues in the build. While the camera itself feels sturdy and looks stylish, it has a lot of small parts you'll need to swap in and out. The monitor mount and tripod mount are two separate pieces. For example, you can easily change them in and out since they both fit into the same magnetic slot, but once you add in the magnetic webcam cover, that's a lot of extra stuff to keep track of. The monitor mount also lacks feet, which means it can feel unstable. I didn't feel like it was going to fall off my monitor, but it took some work to get it to that point. Still, that's all worth it for this almost mirror-like image quality. This is one of the more expensive cameras on this list, but given all of this camera's features and how little you have to work to make its footage look good, although there are plenty of post-processing options, it easily justifies its price. If you don't need 4K resolution, Dell's recently released Dell Pro Webcam UBB5023 offers an excellent plug-and-play experience and still has better than HD 2K resolution. Number 4. Elgato Facecam Pro Like most, all, ultra-high-res 4K webcams, the Elgato Facecam Pro isn't for everyone. Remember, web conferencing apps such as Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and Google Meet limit your outgoing stream to 720p or 1080p at most. The Facecam Pro is not only capable of producing a high-res 4K image, it's able to output a 4K stream at 60fps. For context, other 4K webcams max out at 4K slash 30fps. The Facecam Pro is the first and only webcam capable of 4K slash 60 cup streaming. The Facecam Pro's design isn't particularly impressive. It's bulky, boxy, and large, but the webcam is relatively lightweight and easy to maneuver. Whether you place it on the included monitor mount or attach it to a tripod, it does lack a physical privacy cover, which seems like a pretty big oversight given how incredibly detailed and high-depth the webcam's picture is. 
Plus, the Elgato Facecam came with a privacy cover. The Facecam Pro retails for $299 and is a good option for professional streamers and content creators who need 4K slash 60 EPS video and who are already part of Elgato's streaming ecosystem. Number 3. Insta360 Link The Insta360 Link is an AI-powered 4K webcam perched on a 3-axis gimbal packed with a variety of capture modes and features that will appeal to content creators such as AI movement tracking and offers incredibly impressive color reproduction and auto exposure. This doesn't come cheap, however. The Link is one of the most expensive webcams on this list, with a retail price of $300. The Link offers unparalleled image quality thanks to its one half inch sensor and 4K resolution, but more importantly, the Link has some of the best auto exposure, color reproduction, and autofocus we've ever seen in a webcam. Most webcams have difficulty adjusting between different lighting scenarios, especially quickly. And while the Link isn't perfect, it's very good at adjusting on the fly. 4K resolution isn't even possible in most web conferencing apps, and capture modes such as portrait mode, top-down mode, and desktop mode are fun to play with but aren't terribly beneficial unless you already know how you're going to use them. Number 2. Microsoft Modern Webcam The Microsoft Modern Webcam is cheaper and more available than the Logitech C920. It also has more features and better, more accurate color reproduction than its older competitor. The Microsoft Modern Webcam comes with an intuitive, but not particularly powerful, app that's designed to look like a Windows menu. The app is where you'll adjust most of this camera's special features, including HDR and flicker reduction powered by its ability to capture footage at 60 EPS. This webcam's 1080 pet 60 EPS capture is a big get for streamers, especially since many gaming-focused webcams cost upwards of $100. The Microsoft Modern Webcam's monitor mount can be shaky on some monitors, especially those that aren't flat along the back, but you can get it stable with some artful balancing. The sliding physical camera shutter gives this webcam a premium feel. Number 1. Logitech Brio 500 It's been over a decade since Logitech released a new webcam for non-creators, and while the Logitech Brio 500's 1080p-30 ifs resolution may sound underwhelming, its performance is not. Armed with a flexible 90-degree field of view and Logitech's Right Light 4 image adjustment technology, the Brio 500 produces an impressive, exposure-balanced image right out of the box. We were especially impressed with the Brio 500's auto white balance, which is something almost all webcams struggle with. It wasn't perfect, but it was almost as impressive as the auto white balance seen on much prissier webcams, such as the Insta360 Link. Logitech's Right Light 4 technology, which is designed to compensate in less ideal lighting situations, did an excellent job of producing flattering, evenly lit images in both low and overexposed lighting conditions. If you plan on zooming in to crop out your background, you may prefer the 2K EBV 5023 Dell Pro webcam, which is similarly priced to the Brio 500 and also offers impressive out of the box performance. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions related to the products we listed here, leave a comment down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can.